guys, so I've got a midweek video for you today because hopefully on Sunday we're starting the vlogs again. Today's video is a drugstore beauty haul. I haven't actually been and had like a really good shop and splurge in like a, a drugstore boots or super drug or something for ages. So at the weekend I went in there and I just picked up loads of bits that I wanted to try. Some are new launches, um, others aren't but I just really wanted to show you guys what I got. So I went to Boots and got rather a lot of stuff. I got a magazine, I got Look magazine. Um, I don't get magazines as much as I used to anymore. I don't know why, I have a subscription to Elle, but going out and buying them I just don't get as many, like when I was a teenager I used to get so many magazines all of the time, um, but I love Look magazine, like, I love all the fashion-y bits in it, and also there's an interview with um, Elizabeth Olsen, who is the Olsen twins' younger sister, and I don't know why, but I literally love her, I've seen a few of her films now, and just, there's something about her, I think I've got a bit of a girl crush on her, I think she's so cool, so yeah. That's one of the reasons that I got this um, and I'm looking forward to just having five minutes to sit down and read it. On to some makeup, I'm just going to pull out what I find. So I bought a few nail polishes from probably one of my favourite nail polish brands and that is Barry M. Um, they just have a huge selection now, they've always had loads of nail varnishes in their section but they've literally got so many colours and textures and different ranges so I thought I would show you what I picked up. So the first two are of course perfect spring shades like I don't already own these two colours in some form or another but these are the speedy quick dry ones um, and they really are quick drying. Um, I have the, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully, I have this colour on at the moment and it's in the colour Lap of Honour and it's a really pretty lilac shade um, and this is really good, it's two coats and it's completely opaque, um, I, I really really love it. How can you go through spring and not buy another mint nail polish? This one is called Road Rage and yeah it's really pretty. I haven't tried this one yet to see if it's as good as this because sometimes um, mint colours can just be really patchy. But hopefully it's a good one and they were on offer, I think they were like buy one get the other half price or something. So I decided to go for two more, and these are new. These are the Sunset Daylight Curing Nail Paints, um, which I thought was a really interesting concept. Obviously everyone's heard of Shellac, where you put your nails under the UV light and it cures them, they last a lot longer. These are daylight curing, so they're cured by the UV rays of the sun. I don't know how much of a gimmick this is or how good they actually are. I haven't tried them, but what you get is the different shades, there's really pretty shades and even though that's maybe not your typical spring colour, I really love this berry colour so much. This is called Fuchsia Generation and I just love the colour but you have to use the daylight curing top coat so I'm guessing whatever technology does this is in this one. Um, so I'm assuming you can wear this over any nail varnish as long as you've got the top coat haven't read the little instructions. I'm really interested to see how this works, so if you like maybe a blog post or something on it once I've tried and tested these, then let me know. So when I got home, I realised quite a lot of the things I bought were lip-based things. Um, I have an obsession with lipstick, lip gloss, lip pencils, all sorts. Um, I just think it's the most easy thing to change up the way you look your lip colour and I've been experimenting so much with different colours lately I love reds, I love corals and I really love bold pink lips like this um, so I'm going to show you the, the lip things that I got look, loads um, so the first thing is the one I'm wearing and I'm so pleased with it so after I mentioned in my March favourites about the NARS red square lip pencil um, I decided to go looking for a drugstore drugstore drug alternative to lip pencils and I found these by Maybelline New York and they're called Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencils and the NARS ones are velvet lip pencils so I thought I'd give this one a go. Uh, this is in the colour Fuchsia Desire and as you can see it's a chunky pencil and I am probably converted to using these and I want to go and see 
what other colours they've got because these are brilliant and for a fraction of the price of the NARS ones and obviously a lot more accessible. And then I've got a few more things. This I haven't tried. I wanted to try some things um, so that I could talk about them but a few things obviously as this is a haul I haven't tried yet. This is the Bourjois Colour Boost um, Lip Crown and it's the uh, 10 hour one, Comfort and Hydration with SPF 15. Um, can't really comment on this yet. All I can say is, <laughs> I'm going to drop it. All I can say is they, they look really nice, they look really hydrated. It's called Peach on the Beach, number four. So this is really cute, pinky, pinky coral or peach. Then I picked up this lipstick from a uh, collection and they've got this new packaging. It's like the spring one, which I'm not, I'm not sure about. I don't know how much I like it, but the colour was so gorgeous. I absolutely love this and it's called Pink Rose. So it's just perfect for that day when you just want that classic pink colour. Not too pale, it doesn't look nude. Um, but it doesn't look too dark, it's not a fuchsia. So I thought that was absolutely gorgeous and that's by collection. And then um, I got these. So I absolutely love Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. They have brought out these, which I thought were just the Apocalypse Lip Lacquers in new uh, packaging, but they're not. These are called Provocalypse. So they look like this. They are 16 hour kiss proof colour and you get the colour in this section, it's on a doe foot applicator, almost like a gloss and in this one you get the lock and shine so it's almost like another gloss but it's kind of like a balm that locks in the colour now this is in the colour I'll call you, 200 I'll call you and I also got 110 dare to pink um, now, these are really, really good, but they're almost too good. That sounds really bad because everyone always wants a long-lasting lip colour, so when a company gives you that, it's really bad to moan about it. But these are so hard to get off. Literally, I had all the swatches of everything I bought on my hand, and these would not come off for like four days. I'm telling you, I scrubbed my hand, I bathed, I showered, I washed Archie's bottles in boiling hot water every day and it still had the mark of this colour on my hand. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so good. Then I tried it on my lips and when I wanted to wash it off, I couldn't. It, I literally had to scrub it off. So if that's what you're looking for in a lip product, then these are like absolutely amazing. They have fantastic stain power. Um, and if you just learn to use them properly, i.e. don't put too much on the applicator, like really wipe it off and then apply it, they're really good. They're beautiful colours. Um, they're just really, really hard to get off. But for some people that's going to be an added bonus. So let me know what you think of those. So you should have included this when I was talking about nail polish, but I completely forgot it was in here. This is the Bourjois Instant Dry um, Nail Enamel Dryer. That's what they're calling it. Um, so it's kind of like the IPI one, but it has a little dropper and you just drop it onto each nail after you've applied your nail polish and it dries it really quickly. I'm hoping this is good. I haven't tried it yet, but again, let me know in the comments if you have and what you think of it. So I've got a few eye products. Um, the first being the Bourjois, I've got quite a lot of Bourjois stuff actually, Colour Band. This is the Ombre Eyeshadow and Liner and it's a 24 hour waterproof one. Um, it's in the colour Rose for Vist. Rose for Vist. I don't know if I'm saying that right, any French viewers out there. Um, but yes, it's a really pretty, sort of, um, almost like a pink rose gold um, metallic. And it looks really lovely on the eyes. I do have it on right now, but I don't know if you can see. I'm winking at you in a really creepy way. I really like it, so I put that all over the lid and then I just used a darker sort of brown powder for the creases. And it looks really nice, I really like it. Next is the L'Oreal Paris Full Slash Superstar Mascara, which looks like this, I think this is new. Um, this is the first um, 
mascara that has the kind of two different applications so like the primer and then the mascara this is the first one I've had for ages um, and I really am liking it I again I'm wearing this today and just having that first step of applying the sort of white primer really does to help to lengthen the lashes and also kind of thicken them up a bit so if you have quite thin fine eyelashes by applying that you can get sort of a more fuller look to your lashes I think when you apply the actual black mascara without having to do loads and loads and loads of coats of black mascara so it goes all clumpy so this is really nice and I'm really liking this tried it out a couple of times already next I decided to pick up a primer and this is the Bourjois Happy Light um, this is a serum and I don't even know, is it? Yeah, it is a serum primer. I really like having fresh, dewy, glowy skin, which I don't often have, but I just thought this would help. So I just apply this first under my foundation and it just helps to like make my skin look a little bit more dewy and glowy. And again, I have only tried this once so far, so I can't really report on exactly what I think of it, but it's a nice product and it doesn't feel like oily or greasy on your skin, which is obviously a good thing. This I haven't tried at all yet, it's still in the box, so this is kind of like a first look, even though I did see it kind of in the store, like the sample, the tester, um, but it's a Define and, Contour, Define and Conquer Contour Kit. So the packaging looks like this, it's almost exactly the same as e.l.f. packaging, um, and then you open it, it has a little like thing in it to show you what how to do it and then you get the two powders, so your contour and your highlight. Again, not much I can say about it, but I am really looking forward to using this. Last few things, I got another Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. This is in the colour Classic Beige, and at the moment I'm really liking mixing this with my moisturiser for a more tinted moisturiser foundation look rather than heavy foundation, and it just helps you to look a little bit more glowing as well. I'm not gonna talk about it forever, I've talked about it so many times before. This is amazing and I really do love this foundation. So as I mentioned earlier, since having Archie, I have to wash these bottles every day. Um, and this has left me with such dry hands. Obviously, like, I'm probably washing my hands a lot more than I would before because you change nappies and, like, make food for, for him and all stuff, you know. So my hands are so dry at the moment. It doesn't help that it's just been winter. So I really wanted to get a nice new hand cream and I thought I would try the Garnier Hand Intensive 7 Day Smoothing Hand Cream and I went for the Mango Oil one, I think they have a Shea but Sheer Butter one and another one, uh, maybe a Cocoa Butter one, but I decided to go for the Mango Oil because you know it's nice and fruity in summary. Um, I have used this a couple of times, I like to put it on before I go to bed. Um, just so it can kind of work through the night and it's not annoying you while you're trying to do other things throughout the day and yeah I like it so fast so fast so far it's fast absorbing and it says it's for dry and rough hands so I've got high hopes for this one then lastly but not leastly um, I got some micellar waters yes you heard me right I got two because I'm obsessed with them and I like to have a backup of one because if I suddenly run out and I have forgotten to buy another one literally I can't get my makeup off anymore so I got the Garnier one which has been a staple in my makeup removal tool kit for ages now this is just so good um, and again I've talked about it loads so I won't keep going on about it but this is like probably like the 10th repurchase or something then I saw um, that Soap and Glory have brought one out so instead of just buying two of these I thought I would just see what I think of this because I do like to try other things especially when it's the kind of product that I love so this says Total Drama Clean obviously Soap and Glory are known for their cool names of things 5-in-1 um, Magnetising Micellar Makeup Remover plus Natural Cucumber Juice and peach fruit extract so it cleanses tones and smooths I'm just gonna see what it smells like not very strong which is good for a micellar water um, obviously it gives loads more information on the back of the ingredients and stuff but um, yeah looking forward to trying that just seeing if it makes my skin feel any nicer afterwards any smoother than this one um, takes off the makeup better 
just like to do a little bit of a test. So yes, that's everything that I got. I actually got quite a lot of stuff in this video. Again, as usual, it's super duper long. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments anything that you liked the look of in this video that you might want to try or anything that you already have and what you think of it because I love to hear your guys opinions um yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to tune in on Sunday for our first vlog back for ages and as always thank you so much for watching everyone bye